Hey guys, welcome back. So today's interesting topic is about self-complementing code. So self-complementing code definition is as shown in here. So its ninth complement of a decimal number is obtained by interchanging all zeros and ones by ones and zeros respectively. Here you can see interchanging all zeros and ones by ones and zeros respectively is nothing but ones complement I guess. So this definition states that if nines complement of a decimal number is equals to uh, ones complement then it's a self complementing code. Okay, I'm going to explain you with example. So these are some self complementing codes 2421, 5211, 642 minus 3, 84 minus 2 and minus 1, excess 3 and 753 minus 6. So I'm going to take excess 3 code and explain you how the self complementing is done and whether the code is self complementing or not. So as you can see over here, this is the decimal. 0 to 9 and access 3 uh, code which is written in binary form this is access 3 code okay 0 is represented as 0 0 1 1 that is 3 in the normal binary decimal but in access 3 it is represented as 0 0 1 1 so 1 is represented as 0 1 0 0 so 2 is represented as 0 1 0 0 so to find out it's self complementing or not First, we need to take the 9th complement of this number. So, 9th complement of this number, 9 minus 0 is what? 9, 9 minus 8, 9 minus 1, sorry, it's 8, 9 minus 2, it's 7, 9 minus 3, 6, and so on. 9 minus 9, 0. So, this are 9th complement. So, we need to take 1's complement of excess 3. So, 1's complement of 0, 1, 1 is what? 1, 1, 0, 0. 1's complement of 0, 1, 0 is what? 1, 0, 1, 1. So, so on, keep it until the 9's one. So, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1's complement is 0, 0 and 1, 1. Uh, a thing you need to observe here is that, carefully observe, this 1, 1, 0, 0 is what? 9 in excess 3. So, this and this have a link now. So, 1, 1, 0, 0 is 9, 1, 0, 1 is 8, 1, 0, 1, 0 is 7, so on. We can write it right now. As you can see, now this looks like 9's complement. As you can see, this is looks like 9's complement. So when this happens, when 9's complement and 1's complement are equal, then it's called and self complementing code so this is what self complementing code looks like just take one nines complement and one's complement and see whether the values are equal or not as you can see over here once again i'm showing you here 0 0 1 1 one's complement is 1 1 0 that is 9 so 0 1 0 0 one's complement is 8 0 1 0 1's complement is 7. Similarly, you can see, keep on tracking where it's going. Everything is self-complementing. So, everything here is called as self-complementing. 9's complement is equal to 1's complement. I'm going to um, tell you a small technique, whether to find out it, the, whether the code is self-complementing or not. So, as you can see, these are a few examples of self-complementing code. So 2421521642-3 I have said so um, if you look this 2421 add them up so add these weights what you get is 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 1 9 so you got 9 5211 add them up it's 9 642 minus 3 add them up it's 9 842 minus minus 2 minus 1 add them up 9 if if you add them all and the sum is equals to 9 then it's a self complementing code if you don't get uh, nine, a 9 as the answer for example you take 8 4 2 1 you won't get sum equals to 9 not equals to 9 this is not a self complementing code here you add 7 5 3 minus 6 this is a self complementing code I hope you have understood if you have understood the topic well Please leave a comment down below and thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.